Yo, woke up this morning and uh, got a job offer. Um, definitely going to be personal training part time, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Saturday. Super excited to earn some extra money and get back into personal training. It's been a while since I've done that as a job. Um, yeah, the weekend's starting off great. Saturday morning, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, going to go hit up some bench press, which I'll take you along for. And hopefully we have a good session. Then I'm going to Slum Brew for dinner tonight, which is a local brewery in Somerville, Massachusetts. And before that, I'm going to a Fluff Festival. Uh, fluff, if you don't know, is like this marshmallowy, sugary spread that you can put on sandwiches. And they have a festival because they originated it here in Somerville, Massachusetts uh, in 1917 or something like that. I don't really remember the date. But basically it's just a bunch of food that, that has fluff as a main ingredient and it should be a good time. And they've got other activities and bands and I don't know. We'll see and I'll bring you along for that as well. So hopefully it's a great weekend and I uh, can't wait to begin this weekend with uh, some bench press. A walk of shame. She forgot the damn gym pass. So she's got to go in, go get it, then we can go to the gym. She has emerged with the gym pass in hand. One eighty five for twelve bench press, motherfucker. That was a great session at the gym. Dips felt great for once. I've had elbow issues for years, but got fifteen reps uh, with my body weight. And then I went on to do four sets of eight with ten pounds hanging between my legs. And that's not a penis joke. Physique update one seventy eight. Lost eight pounds, eight more to go. Do you smell the gains? Mm. I own a meerkat. <laughs> Look at him. Just came back from Wegmans again this weekend, but this time I couldn't say no to the beer section. I got from Stone Brewing Company out in California the Bitter Chocolate Oatmeal Stout, which I'm super excited about. It's, as you can read, an ale brewed with bitter chocolate. So hell yeah. Should be a good weekend. Again, we're going to the Fluff Festival. Then we're going to go to Slum Brew uh, Brewery. Get some dinner and some delicious beers. And I can't wait to show you guys that. Locked and loaded in the girlfriend mobile. Headed to Fluff Festival. Yo, I'm finally friggin parked That was miserable driving through Boston traffic. Holy crap There's like a million detours a million roads closed off that Waze didn't know about and yeah Whatever we're parked. We're gonna go to the fluff festival, and then we're gonna drink some beer Test was pretty good. I didn't take a whole lot of pictures or videos, but here's a couple of the things we ate. We had ice cream with fluff on it and hot fudge, which was delicious. And here's a picture of the donut we had with peanut, uh, with fluff on it. And that's about it. Um, it was an alright time, and I would probably do it again. Sam pan That's pretty good.
So I got a uh, coconut porter here called Port for Paradise at Slumber Brewery. And uh, we're hanging out here with uh, some of our good friends and uh, cheers to tonight. Cheers. This is my friend G-Way's flight here of beers here at Slumber Brewery. Yo, last night was fun. Uh, just woke up, it's Sunday. Had a dream about strongman events, and man, I really miss it. So after powerlifting in November, I think I'm going to start doing strongman type training. I miss overhead movements, I miss carrying things around, I miss loading stones, I miss flipping tires. We're going to get back to that kind of stuff. Squat bench and deadlift is fun, but you can't beat a tire flip or loading a heavy stone or um, throwing a log over your head. That stuff's just sweet. So we'll see what I end up doing today. Can't wait to get back into strongman training. In New Hampshire, visiting the girlfriend's parents. Up in the woods. So this portion of the video that you're watching is of Andre's Institute of Art, which is an outdoor public sculpture park of art that uh, my girlfriend's mom, who's an art professor, really wanted to go to. She really enjoys natural art, and she enjoys uh, the sculptures that people made from all around the world. We saw sculptures from Germany, uh, Zimbabwe, Ukraine, pretty much everywhere around the world, and I thought it was really interesting that they flew all these sculptures here and displayed them in the form of a hike. So basically, you hiked around, and you saw all these different sculptures, and it was really nice to be in the outdoors and kind of get some fresh air and climb through some trails and discover some different uh, pieces of art. Um, I'm going to use this portion of the video just to talk about, again... I'm really missing the strongman training and I can't wait to get back into strongman training. I probably will wait probably another like half a year or so uh, after the powerlifting meet. And right now I'm just fully focused on doing well at that meet. I really want that 1100 pound total which I think will happen. Um, and then after that I'm going to work on getting my overhead and deadlift as strong as possible to prepare for the next upcoming strongman season. Your fridge is running low, time to restock. So this is what I end up picking up at the grocery store. Um, Blue Point Brewing Company um, Mixed Pack. It's got the Mosaic Session IPA, the uh, pa American Pale Ale, the Summer Ale, and the Double Blonde, again by Blue Point Brewing Company. $10.99, good price. Thank God for New Hampshire. So before I break into that 12 pack, gotta finish up the previous 12 pack I was drinking. Good old Haponius Union by Jack's Abbey. I haven't done a beer review on this yet, but it's one of my favorite local brews here in Massachusetts. Uh, yeah, so that pretty much wraps up my weekend. It was a great weekend. I had a lot of fun. Tried a lot of new beers. Uh, went on that hike that I showed you earlier. And yeah, just gonna drink this beer, edit some videos, and have a great rest of your week. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you guys have tried any new beers lately, let me know in the comments below. Also, if uh, you have any workout footage and you want me to check it out, comment below and I'll check out your channel. That's it for this one. Peace.